you can get his mythic frenzy auto, which is stupid. Let's go. Woo! That was dangerous, dude. That was dangerous. Lads, Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 3 is finally here, and they are calling it Fortnite Wrecked. Last season's theme was focused on Greek gods and elemental powers, and there is a variety of mythic and unique items on the map. But this season seems like a total reversal, as the meta is almost entirely car-focused with a variety of mods and upgrades that you can make to your vehicle. And this season's bosses also have a special set of fully kitted vehicles as well. We also have the imminent addition of Fallout-themed items and weapons coming to the game, though it remains to be seen which of these it will be. There's a large variety of weapons in the Fallout franchise, so I'm very excited to see what makes the transition. And on top of that all, we now have the reliable crossover skin in the Battle Pass, which teases major changes for next season of Chapter 5. There's so much to talk about with this season of Fortnite, and I'm going to do that in future videos, but for now, let's go ahead and give a quick review of this Battle Pass and see if it's really worth your hard-earned V-Bucks. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment your thoughts on the current season of Fortnite down below. Let me know how you're feeling on this meta and all these new changes. Now, of course, be sure to use code SOURHEART in the Fortnite item shop before you buy this battle pass to support this channel. Very nice. The Machinist. This is actually a boss on the map as well. This is kind of a throwback to Jules from Chapter 2, isn't it? There's rumors saying that the OG quote-unquote flashback of this season is going to be the Chapter 2 map and not the Chapter 1 map. So this Chapter 2 nostalgia skin kind of makes sense. And also a Lego build piece. Interesting. Obviously, we have our pickaxe, a giant wrench. I personally like giant wrenches because I think those are one of the icons of gaming. Think Half-Life think Bioshock, on and on and on. She has an alternate style with blue hair and gray clothing. Very nice. Oh, I didn't even look at her glider either. She rides inside of this, I assume. Next, we have Rust. He's definitely more on the Mad Max side with the spikes. And this is a glider. I thought this was actually a car skin, but nope, glider. They're going all in on that Wasteland Warrior aesthetic. Corrosive Rust. Oh, so he's a Rust Lord knockoff too. So this is the third Rust Lord we've had in the game. Very interesting, or possibly even the fourth. Comment down below, how many Rust Lords have we had in this game? I can remember three, including this one right off the top of my head. And here we have the Pea Buddies, definitely the cutest skin in the Battle Pass. This is the one that your little brother is going to be wanting to wear. Yellow Peas, they're unripe, not ripened. Next we have Ringmaster Scar, and this is another one of the bosses on the map. Definitely more of a rocker punk style, kind of leaning towards that festival crossover into the Battle Royale mode. Oh, and she has the Hyena skin. Kind of a shot at Ubisoft right there. This is what the sum total of their attempt at that Hyenas game amounted to. A skin making fun of them in Fortnite. Now we have the Power Armor. And this is what everyone was looking forward to. And they're just calling it Power Armor. People were thinking it would actually be Maximus from the show. But no, it starts off with full armor. A back bling pit boy, kind of cool. Oh, I will, it, actually sh it actually counts your limbs too. Very nice. When you open chests, it has a bunch of different animations. West Tech Wings. Decent, decent. We've kind of seen this before. Hot Rod. Okay, you got him with the fire on him. This is Guy Fieri's power armor. The Bright Raider. Here I was saying that we have a lot of Rust Lords, but how many Bright Bomber skins do we have? Five plus. Comment down below. How many Bright Bomber skins do we have in this game? Because this is crazy. I do like this. Oh, she gets like a unicorn style motorcycle helmet. All right, that's pretty cool. This is going to be the resident sweat skin, 100%. And you can get her in pastel as well. Very, very nice. Full of that Kennergy right there. Perfect for the summer season. And her pickaxe is a motor powered llama head. That's awesome, dude. That's a very nice knockoff. In terms of like remixes of established skins, this is super high tier. This is A tier, possibly even S tier. This is crazy that they're putting this in the battle pass, actually, and not just selling this in the shop. Next, we have Megalodon, and he is the third boss, and the boss of bosses of all these Wasteland Warriors. He's a big guy. For you. He's got the Dominator, just a straight hammer. His... Oh, okay, so here we got his glider. Dude, that's pretty awesome. Loud, big, 
will get you noticed. It has fire effects, but damn, if that isn't cool. That is cool as hell. And then his emo for the upgrade gets all that nitro power. Dude, this guy is Bane. He is a big guy for me. I'll tell you that right now. No ditty. It would be extremely painful. Now looking into the bonus rewards. Alt color Megalodon Glider. Alt color Ringmaster Night Hunter. Black armor. Awesome. This was the one that we saw in the promo materials. You're going to have to get into the bonus rewards for this thing. And of course, you have that same black tint for the Pit Boy back bling. Oasis Megalodon, so you can get them in red or you can get them in blue. That's pretty much the choice there. And then, of course, the crystalline ones, the very, very top tier ones. And then we have Magneto, the crossover skin of this season. And this is actually pretty dope. I like this because this, to me, really shows that Disney is going back to the X-Men. They've abandoned the Eternals. They've abandoned all the multiverse that they were going to do. And they're going for a classic style. They're going to go X-Men Fantastic Four. So I think the next couple years of Marvel movies will be pretty enjoyable. And it's weird how we're seeing the first bits of it in Fortnite. We can't see anything yet. In 40 days. But all of these skins have a Lego style, which is also a nice little bonus. These battle passes are getting more valuable than ever, honestly. Like, I feel like I'm being generous because I keep giving each battle pass a high score. The only negative I can really give these battle passes is they take a while to level up now. The battle passes kind of expect you to play every single game mode to get yourself to level 200. So you really gotta grind, grind, grind Battle Royale if that's all you play. On this one, I'm gonna have to say 8 out of 10, honestly. Maybe a 9 out of 10. Because there's some skins in here, in particular, this bomber skin, I'm surprised this is even part of the battle pass. This is something I feel like they would be selling for 1500 in the shop, 1800 in the shop. And maybe I'm just a mark for the Fallout crossover, but yeah, I'm gonna have to give it to this battle pass. Round of applause. And of course, use code Starheart in the Fortnite item shop when you buy this battle pass to support this channel. Comment down below how you're feeling about the battle pass, and I will catch you all in the next video.